So you want to play the ukulele? Well, you've come to the right place. But why? Everyone knows it's not as cool as the electric guitar. It's not as funky as the bass. It's not as annoying as the accordion. And it's not as balmy as the bongos. So what is it about the uke that's got millions of people reaching for it? Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. It's piss easy. That's right, with just three chords that I'm going to teach you right now, you will be able to play literally hundreds of songs on the ukulele. So grab your ukulele, tune it up. Come on, the link's right there. It'll take one minute. I'll be waiting for you. And sit back while I teach you the three chords that'll make you a master of the uke. The first chord I'm going to teach you is the easiest chord of all, the chord of C. All you have to do is get one of these fingers, any one you like, but ideally this one or this one, and on the top string you just place it on the third fret. Just push it down, so instead of being an open string, it sounds a bit like this. The other strings, nothing at all. And with your thumb, or fingers on the other hand, simply strum. That's your C major. Nothing more difficult than that. One finger on the third fret of the top string, and strum. That's a C. The second chord I'm going to teach you is F major. Now F's a little bit more difficult than a C, but not much. This time you only need two fingers on this hand. But one finger right here, on the second string up, on the first fret. So instead of sounding like this, it should sound like this. Just push it down. And then on the bottom string, right here, you take your second finger and put it on the second fret as well. So instead of sounding like this, it should sound like this. Now, what you do, the other two strings, nothing on them at all, so they're still open strings, they should sound like this. And if you strum it with your thumb or fingers, it should sound like this. This is a chord of F major. Now, what you might want to do is practice changing between the two chords. It'll take a while to, uh, to get used to this, but a bit of practice and you should be doing it in no time at all. Just moving from the C to the F. So you can go as slowly as you like to begin with. Until eventually, you can do it without even thinking about it. And that is the C and F chords. Now that's two chords, and believe it or not, there are some songs you can play with just two chords. But I'm going to teach you one more chord today. The final chord I'm going to teach you is the chord of G. Now, if you already play the guitar, then uh, you're in for a treat because the chord of G is pretty much exactly the same shape as the chord of D on a guitar. But if you don't play the guitar, don't worry, I'm going to teach you exactly how to play it. The bottom string, leave that open. One finger on the second fret on the second string. One finger on the second fret on the top string and your third finger on the third fret on this string here. So now you've got your three chords, your C, your F, and your G. Now I want you to take some time and just practice moving between the chords so you can do it without even thinking about it. You've got your C to your F, 
your C to your G, your F to your G, and your G to your F. So just have a go until you can remember all three of those chords and you can move between them without thinking about it. So there you have it, with just three simple chords, you can play hundreds of songs. The singing lessons, you'll have to get them elsewhere, I'm afraid. <laughs>